assignment time. Now I want to stop right here and see how far you've gotten because I want to make sure you're getting this concept. I know it's weird, it's different sometimes. Uh, here, here's why. You know, in most cases in a modeling class, what'll happen is a student won't get an idea unless you're physically making an object. Okay, so if I showed you how to make make a stapler, okay, you'll you'll get that concept sometimes because I'm making a physical object. The important thing to know is that your imagination needs to be triggered a little bit more and things in real life don't always need to be translated to 3D. You need to make some of this stuff up. It's the same thing as, you know, when you're drawing. When when I'm drawing, you can either look at a picture in a book and copy it verbatim, or you can start thinking about how would I draw some weird form and attach it to another form. So the tr they go parallel with each other. 3D concepts of making forms and connecting them and drawing forms and connecting them on paper are the same kind of concept. You just have to extrapolate a little bit from your imagination and put it together. So this is a study. Okay, It has absolutely nothing to do with a realistic item in life. The study is to show good form and good topology. So in this case I got rounded. I got a form change of a ball, but the ball isn't interrupting this form. This hole is not interrupting this form or this edge. So none of these different forms are interrupting any of the other forms, but yet they are all part of one giant form. That's a good study. Now, a few rules. Because students also have the terrible um, habit of under-challenging themselves. In other words, if I said, I want you to create a study. You know, some students might go the extra mile and create this amazing thing that I just, my jaw drops and hits the floor. And then other students would make a box and have a rounded edge and say, hey, that's my study. So, yeah, try not to do that to yourself. You know, that, that under challenging yourself thing, you know, I, I really don't get it. I guess it's because of, you know, of my personality. But, Always try to challenge yourself to the point of idiocy and push your limits. So, rules. Must have a hole in the center of something or a hole through some object in here. It must have at least four to five different form changes. Okay, four to five. Oh, okay, wait, I extrapolated some numbers there. It must have five at least good form changes. Okay. Anytime you say four, yep. So, in this case, uh, well, how what what do I mean by form changes? You know, from this base, I have a change. From this base or this object, I have a change. From that, I also have another change. And here's the hole. So you can see, in this case, I have count them: one, two, three, four, with a hole. Okay, so if you wanted five, you could probably add a cylinder on the top of this. Think about that. How would that happen? And that would be five form changes. What I will tell you this, just add a whole bunch, and then what I'll do is look at it and say, wow, that's amazing, and I'm not even going to worry about counting how many form changes you have. It's the fact that you have a very sweet-looking study that has good topology and if it has like six coming off of it, I'm gonna know that you you worked really hard at that to make it kind of balanced. Also, balance, let's talk about that for a second. Okay, right now, you know, this looks aesthetically pleasing, I guess, in, in its own way. Um, sure, if you were to create that out of metal and slap it in a dentist's office, it might be a good piece, you know. Uh, kids would play on it. Uh, people would sit on it, whatever. So kind of make it in the idea, of maybe making it an abstract piece that would sit in somebody's house, office, or on the street. Make it zen, kind of. So keep that in mind, too. Um, 
you want to put this in your portfolio and you want people to understand what it is, they're not going to understand it unless they know what topology is, but us 3D nerds do. So it'll be a nice piece in your portfolio if you do it right. And if you do a whole bunch of these, I can't tell you how much that really helps you as far as the learning process goes. All right, so that's your assignment. Enjoy. When you're done, turn in the blend file. Hopefully I can do this with yours. I want to be able to do this, see how I'm tabbing, and it has that modifier attached. So please don't take the modifier and apply it. Make sure I can do this. Okay, so I can see your low level and I can see your high level when I load up your blend file. All right, enjoy. Have a good one. And until next unit.